Hello and welcome to this Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I will show you how you can model a uh, screwdriver. So uh, let's get started. Go into top view by clicking F2 and Alt V on your keyboard to get into the viewport attributes. Click in the viewport first back on this back uh, tab here in the viewport and I'll load up an image of a screwdriver I just found. It should be on the first page of Google if you uh, Google for a screwdriver. Alright, um, then we just create a cylinder and rotate it 90 degrees so that it's aligned with the um, screwdriver and turn it for 90 degrees in the Y axis as well. Then it's just a matter of uh, making it fit the cylinder, the top cylinder on the screwdriver. And it seems like this screwdriver has a uh, maximum of one, two, three, six sides. So uh, we will just add seven sides, I think. No, not seven sides. Let's see. Let's, let's add twelve sides. Okay. Go into top view by clicking F2 and uh, make it make the cylinder editable by either clicking C on the keyboard or clicking this button up here and uh, make it optimizable. No, optimize it. Okay, you can find this. You can find the optimize button up in uh, uh, functions. Here it is, optimize. Uh, go into uh, polygon mode and select this. Uh, um, s uh, tool here, uh, selection tool, and uncheck only select visible elements. Select those polygons there and drag them over to the edge. Then extrude them out and scale them down. We just want the basic shape of the uh, of the screwdriver, so we don't have to be very accurate. There we go. And uh, in some places, it's uh, the screwdriver got six sides, like here, and here it got four sides, and here it got six sides again, and here it got four sides, no six sides again. So uh, we'll have to go into uh, perspective view, select the cylinder, and we have to kind of um, we have to give it the shape of the. Uh, um, screwdriver. So if you select these points here and we have now selected 8, no 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 points on the top and on the bottom and just scale them in the x-axis go into perspective to see how that looks ok um, yeah, we'll, we will have to go into top and uncheck uh, uh, and Unselect the middle polygons, not the middle points, and scale it up. There we go. Uh, go into uh, side, no uh, front view. And select uh, these polygons and unselect the middle polygons, and just scale them down. Go into front view and scale them out. So now we have the. I'll just lower the fung angle so it's easier to see. Now we have the uh, shape of the screwdriver on this seg segment right here. Um, uh, this segment right here, I don't think we have to change that because uh, it has the, uh, the right shape. Uh, I think we can do is to go into top view and select these polygons so that both the tops polygons and the bottom are selected and just go into front and scale them down so that they are align with uh, their neighboring uh, points. Go into front again and select these polygons right here. Now these points, sorry if I say polygons I mean points. Go into top and scale them down so that, that they align. Okay, 
we have to do the same on this uh, part right here, so going to top select them front and scale down top, no front select these polygons right here going to top and scale now it's too small because it's not going out here so we, have, we will have to select all these points and scale them only in the X and Z axis so go up here and enable the Y axis because we do not want it to scale outwards so scale it up and drag it over there we go going to uh, go into um, yeah okay just uh, stay in top view and select the points here and the points there and scale them down go into front view select these polygons and these points and these points and just scale them down go into top again select all the points and scale them up so now they fit now they have the right shape and the right uh, polygon flow of the uh, of the uh, screwdriver so go, just go into uh, this uh, the perspective mode and select K for knife cut select loop and uncheck restrict to selection and we will if um, we will have to make some knife cuts now and I can show why because if we put it under hypernerbs it becomes very weird it becomes like uh, it doesn't really f it's very smooth thing smooth it doesn't follow the uh, the um, shape of the screwdriver so we will have to make some knife cuts so uncheck hypernerbs and make knife cuts start down here to me and make uh, I've got there 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 oops not there there we go if I enable hypernerves now oh, it has the right shape. Let's go into top view. And we will just have to pull this out here and make a knife cut around uh, here. Go into perspective and uncheck this middle polygon, this middle point. Oops click Control D to get rid of the uh, axis and check by clicking Control, holding Control and clicking the polygon. Go into top and Control D to get 